Hi everyone, it's Boxing Day. I wasn't planning on doing a video, but I'm um, just having a chat with my two sons who have come down to visit us, um, Nathan and Adam. And then while we were eating our meal tonight, I was telling him about one of my concerns. We've lost uh, a baby hatchling escaped three days ago, which I hadn't told anyone about, and I was really concerned about it. And we were just talking about um, how important it is to do everything in your power to find things when you lose things. <laughs> And I've been looking for three days for this snake, and it's one of our baby hatchlings. It's one of the purple passions escaped. And if you come over here, Nathan, I've just video this. There's its rub down there. There's the water, and there's the hide. So because I couldn't find it, and I've got a hip problem, and Jared's isolating, with Jared's strength, he would normally pull out all the rubs, and I can't do that. <laughs> so I was just talking to Nathan and Adam over dinner tonight, and I said to them, one of my biggest concerns is I'm worried about my snake. <laughs> And I said I could do with some muscle power, really. And Nathan then started to show his muscles. Big, he's got his huge muscles. Show his big muscles. And I thought, are you going to help me find it? He said, sure. And so the boys just come in tonight. We've, been, we've already been here what two minutes, five minutes, really. And Adam, you you come up with an idea and said, me and that, me and Nathan, we're going to take. We're working down at the bottom, aren't we, with a fridge and freezer where there's yeah. a whole heat source. And my thought was, the baby will go to the heat source because. Another good reason to have good ambient temperatures, if you're having escapee, if you've got high ambient temperature, it's going to survive, and you put a water source out for it, it could survive. It can go without food for much longer, because the hatchlings had two meals. Then Adam called me over, didn't you, Adam? And you said, Dad, I think I can see... Snake did you see some poo. snake poo or something? Yeah, you thought you saw some that. snake poo, and it turns out that... Um, there's a tracker. There's an area that we need to clean more, because there's a corner of the facility that's got spiders and cobwebs wood and lice. wood lice, and lots of wood lice. Or wood lice. <laughs> and, uh, but we also have, for our light box, tucked away, unbeknown to me, behind the incubator, and we pulled the incubator out. In this box is all our colour codes for our light box, so you can, if you look in here carefully, and I was just going through looking, there's a black, there's a blue, there's a white, there's a yellow. And lo and behold, right here, we shine the light, we found our purple passion. Is he down there? Can you see him? Where is he? Can you see him? Just about, it's a bit blurry. I'll shine the light on him, can you see? So he was using this as his hide. How he got in there, I'll never know. Can you see? You shine the light, shine the torch. See the white in the corner? He's in there, it's just blurry. So what we've got to do now is we've got to get it out. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Oh, the battery is flashing red. Just okay, now. so this will be a short video. Anyway, we've got the baby. Let's see before. Let's get it out so you can see we've got it out. But oh let's my get goodness, him out. let's get him out. Adam, can you help me? Yeah. So as I, oh no, here he's coming. Oh, he's he coming is. up. There you go. There's his head. It's very cold. Aww. I can feel yeah, that's it's quite cold. So we've got to get him back on. There's our purple passion, poor little guy. Look at that. Oh bless him. He probably is. So frightened and shy, and he's been probably down as low as 80 degrees. So we'll get him straight back on heat. What I'll do is I'll put, I'll, I'll put him, if you come over here, I'll put him actually on a heat source that's already here. So, and then we'll get him a water source, and we'll get him a, if you pass me his hide yeah. down there, let's get some water. And water's here as well. And if you bring me his water. Anyway. <laughs> There's a parallel here is that sometimes you've got to leave the 159 to find the one. <laughs> but you put a lot of time and energy in finding that one and, you, and you, you get your team of people around you to help you find it. And I'm so much happier now because it was really, really um, upsetting me that I couldn't find him. And Jared will be pleased, it'll lift him. So thank you, Nathan. Thank you, Adam, for giving me help. We thought we'd have to pull the racks back and look behind every single rack, but we didn't have to Thank goodness. That.